All right. I'm uh, down here. This is Vita. That's what the Jeep looks like right now. Yeah, that's what it looks like right now. I'm pulling the rear end out from underneath of it. I just took the shock brakes. All I got to do really is just disconnect this line right here, which is the brake line. I got the emergency brake cables out right here on both sides. This right here is your bleeder valve for the uh, for your fuel. Yeah, thing. I gotta take the dry shaft tape. Then I gotta take my. Then I gotta take the bolts off. Well, this one right here, right there, the bottom plate. Uh. Yep. I gotta put a floor jack underneath there to support that. Then I gotta take them. Drop these four bolts right here. Put a bottom plate and let them drop off. Then I can come up here and drop these and let them to the ground, both of them. Then I can just slide the pump, and I can slide that differential right on out of there. No problem at all. Everything. But, uh, that's the rear end I'm putting under right there. I would say a new turkey right there. I just said a new one put on there. One put on the other side. I had the, the shock mount move from there. Move. There was the other ones right there. So, here's my exhaust. Pretty cool, huh? But, I seen something I gotta do here. I gotta fix this right here first. Once I get this dropped, I'm gonna go ahead and take this top bolt out and I'm gonna redo this whole section right here. That yeah, should work on it. This Jeep is old as the damn hills, man. I got a lot of work due to it. Either or, next year, if things, I'll just go ahead and sell it for about um, ten, eight, eight, ten thousand dollars. Once I get it, once I get that, I'll go ahead and get me another Jeep. I might get me a um, what they call a, a mule, which is a Jeep pickup. I might get one of them. As long as I have four-wheel drive, I'm good to go, and I can get back on mountains. That's perfect for me. All right. Uh, here. That looks a little mess, but here's the tires I'm putting on. These are the tires I took off. These are the tires I'm putting on. They're BFG, Baja Champions. They're the KM2s. Mud grips or mud, mud terrain. Three ply sidewall and all that shit. Oh, you know, that tread ain't too bad on, you know. Ain't too bad at all. Pretty cool. That's what it looks like right now, so. I should be finished. Uh, I'm, a, I'm just going to switch the rear ends today. And I'll figure out what to do after that. All right, I'm gone. Okay. I got my axles on. I do it every time. I got my axles on. I got the tires. All I got is just the axles hooked up. I ain't got the brake lines hooked up or the merch brake cable hooked up. I just, I just now finished this part. I'm doing it by myself, though, that's what I'm telling you. But that's what the back looks like right now. And that's without the shocks on. Get around the other side, get a better shot. That look too bad. Now it kind of looks like a Scooby Mobile, you know? That's what it looks like so far. Yeah. That's how low it is now. And that's without the shocks on. That's gonna be one beefy little bastard I'm gonna finish with. Those tires are just temporary until I can get the right tires I need. I'll probably run in for three or four months. Just look at it from the back now. I'm not doing too bad for someone doing it by itself. Ain't too bad at all. That ain't too bad at all. I think I did a damn good job considering this is the first time I've ever done this shit. Switch up from a, from a regular vehicle from a Jeep over to a Chevrolet. 
what I got to do, I got to extend the brake lines. If I can't do that, I'll have to go to a junkyard and get emergency brake cables off of Grand Cherokee. And I got my brake lines hooked up, but I'm going to have to get a longer. I'll probably have to get that tube that runs on the Grand Cherokee to the brakes and everything. But it definitely looks awesome. It really does, considering it's the first time I've ever done shit like this. And like I say, it's a Dana 44 axle with a 373 gear. Now, I'm going to take my time. I'm going to get that finished. I'm going to get the back finished. I'm going to hook the, I'm gonna get the emergency brake cables, the brake lines hooked up to get the dry shaft. i got to put dry shaft in. And then i got to adjust the back brakes as far as the turning-wise and brake-wise, bleed it. But I really don't need to bleed it until I get the front put on. And this right here is the only problem I'm going to have on the front. It's just staring on right here. That's the only thing I got to do. I got to get a ball joint here and a ball joint back here. What this right here does is when it turns this way or this way, if you take it, if you turn it back this way, the wheels are going to go right. If you go forward, the wheels are going to go left. That's what I got to fix up. So, I think I did a good job so far. What I did, I also did, I took the springs that was on the bottom of that spring and put them on top. That way it gives me that good flow section. Makes it look real good. I think I did a damn good job, man. I really do. I really do think I did a good job. And that right there is where it's supposed to be. But this right here is what I got to fix. I got to fix that. I just got to take and um, grind it down to the metal all the way down to here and put a fiber screen on it and tack it and then put some uh, super and government strength bombo on it. It's kind of like um, liquid steel, but it's like 20 times the strength of it. We used it in D.C. when we was fixing underground parking lots. Use the same thing there and that'll, that'll tighten that up. I think I did a damn good job. For 33 1050s. It does look brutal though, but you can let me show you something here. See this right here? And that right there? These right here was on the bottom. It was on the bottom here. I figure, well, I'm gonna get to, I need the flexibility of these springs, but I'm too less. I stood they're still on there, but I'm too less, so it gives me more flexibility. And I still got to get this right here's the brake line, and you can see. Wait a minute, uh, you can see how far down, right there, it goes right there. But see, I'm stretching it, so I got to get it about two and a half, about a foot and a half longer. Is what I got to do. And I got to get dry shaft. Look up that dry shaft's too short, and I got one right. I got one right there, it's got a double knuckle on this side, and it's exactly what I need. Plus, I got to put gear oil in and everything in here. So, I still got a lot of work to do, but you know, when I finish with this, you know, the back's going to be done first. That's going to be get, getting, that's going to be completely done. Everything's going to be done on it, except for the bleeding of the brakes. Then, that right there, all that right there is going on the front. So I think I did a pretty good job so far. Anyway, anyway, I'm happy. I'm tired. I just want to get the fuck home. I'll be down here since uh, 10 o'clock this morning doing this by myself. I had one guy come by. Oh yeah, I'll help him, man. He come by for 20, about 15 minutes. Said I'll be right back, and I ain't seen him since and it's now. It's now 522, so I have no idea where he's at and everything. But yeah, I think I did a good job here. New springs, clamps, everything. I got it tilted just the way I wanted it. It's about these little blocks right here, little blocks right there. They give me that. Uh, they give me the. Uh, they give me that perfect flex I need just exactly what I need for it.
that double knuckle will come in handy, man. But I'll tell you, it's going to be a beast when I'm done with it. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I really am. I wish I had my buddy here, Joe, but he's on the road, so I think he'll be surprised when he sees the video and everything what I'm doing. Oh, I got a bunch of junk to up. So anyway, this is dead tired, and I'm going home after I clean my mess up pretty. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. I'll have more, uh, if not, well, I'll, have, I'll come over here tomorrow, and I'm going to uh, give up, see what I can do. If I can't do anything, I'll have to wait till Monday. Because I know I'm going to need to get longer brake lines, emergency brake cables off Grand Cherokee, and I'm going to have to get to, uh, the uh, bleed, uh, the uh, flex hose for the brakes in the rear, which runs into a T, which is which is that piece right there. Okay, but I got to take that piece and take this piece right here off this piece right here fits on that one under jeep now so chances are i might what i might do is end up going to a chevrolet pickup truck they got a 67 down there i'll get the brake lines on i'll get the t off of that that should work and everything okay right there now 100 something gone